Good afternoon, good good afternoon, good evening, good morning, um, Swaziland. Um, right, um, so why are we here today, Free Swaziland Movement Team? Why are we, why are we addressing you today? So right, we've all seen that uh, King Mswati III has left uh, Swaziland and is actually in um, Rwanda, Kigali, and uh, for a meeting with the, uh, obviously the person who's hosting it is the president uh, of uh, Rwanda, President Paul uh, Gagame, Kagame of Rwanda. So that's where King Mswati is. He's been there, I think he actually arrived yesterday, I'm not quite too sure. But there's a big, there, there's a big meeting um, in Rwanda and we've got all the Commonwealth um, uh, countries gathered there for a certain meeting. And uh, we've got Prince, uh, Prince Charles of United Kingdom. We've got the Commonwealth heads of, of states, obviously all the government, all the African um, and other Commonwealth um, countries who are gathered there. So, so why, why, Free Swazim, why are we here today? Why am I addressing you and uh, uh, today? Um, the Commonwealth heads of government meeting is taking place in Rwanda, right? So we have a hashtag that we can tag. We are asking you as Free Swazim Movement, we are asking you to hashtag C-H-O-G-M, it's capital letter, okay, for 2022. Um, you've seen it on FSM Facebook account. Hashtag that. Send a message, a clear message, obviously about what is happening in Swaziland. Right. Attach that um, the hashtag C H O G M twenty twenty two, and 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 bring awareness of what's happening in Swaziland. You've seen it. It's on our Facebook page. Please hashtag it. It's hashtag C H O G M twenty twenty two. It will go direct to the organizers of the of the meeting, the common law uh, meetings, and we need to speak out. We need to use this powerful tool of social media. Right now, we only have Facebook, and there's quite a lot. We've got Twitter, Facebook, we've got YouTube. There's a lot, but if you there's a lot of Swazis whom we think are actually on Facebook, and we are asking you as we like. I'm going to repeat and repeat it over again. Please let's use the tool, okay, and, and 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 bring the awareness of what's really happening in Swaziland. And why would we, you know, I'm gonna I've got an article that um I came across which actually explains how powerful the the, the social uh, social media is. So this is this article was taken from the university in China, Kylie University in China. I'm not quite too sure. I think it's um, a year ago. So this is what this um, article says. It says social media has become an important part of people's daily lives and the whole society, which not only transforms forms of communication, but also has the ability to redistribute power by transforming the relationship between governments and citizens, right? By giving citizens, which is you, more opportunity to participate polit as, uh, in, the, in politics and spreading democracy and awareness, having power to contend against the unfair social events. This sounds like Swaziland, okay? Unfair social events and surveilling the behavior of government. So it's just, that's a, a, a scientific research that, um, that I've read from, from this article. So we need to, we, we need to spread this. We, we need to start um, using the tools that we've been given. Hashtag the Commonwealth, the Baroness is there. Just hashtag CHOGM2022. There's a meeting there, King Imswat is there. And uh, let's just spread the message, okay? Let's get this guy um, arrested. Let's get this man arrested. He's murdered more than 70 people and we, we need the world to know what kind of person he is and uh, it is your duty, it is your job to do that. So yeah, on behalf of Free Swazi Movement, um, obviously I didn't tell you my name, my name is Molly and thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Don't forget, hashtag CHOGM2022. Hashtag, it's capital letter, hashtag CHOGM2022. And put something, write something what King Swati has done in the country. 
let's expose him. Let's expose what Makositiv has done, the injustices that he's done, and all the cruel things the, that Makositiv has done in the country. We have to speak out. Okay, we have to. This is your country. It is your. It is your right to speak, and let's use the powerful tools that we have. So, have a good day, and thank you very much.